dear engineering students i welcome you all into my channel again hope you are all doing well so in the previous lectures we have discussed about uh, derivations and uh, one problem we have already discussed now today i am with another important problem uh, that is find the angle between the radius vector and the tangent to the curve uh, a into 1 plus cos of theta this is again the question which is frequently asked in the vtu examination this is again the 8 marks question also find the angle phi at theta is equal to phi by 6 so procedure is same but uh, somehow you have to remember some formulas trigonometric formulas right so let us uh, solve the same question in the same way by the same procedure so i can write down here a into 1 plus cos of theta so what was the procedure of solving these type of problems first of all we have to differentiate the equation then we have to divide or on both sides okay let's see over here first of all differentiate above equation with respect to theta right so i can write down here sorry this is r is equal to r is equal to a into 1 plus cos theta it is the curve right so this is the equation now we are differentiating this term with respect to theta so i can write down dr upon d theta which is equal to a as it is differentiation of one is zero right so differentiation of a constant is always equal to zero plus what is the differentiation of cos of theta it is minus sine of theta right now i can write down here dr upon d theta which is equal to a into 0 is 0 minus into a sin theta that is minus a sin of theta i hope you are getting what i am saying over here so dr by d theta is equal to minus times a sin of theta now divide divide r on both sides okay so 1 by r dr upon d theta which is equal to minus a sine of theta upon r so this was the procedure in the same uh, in the previous problem also so we have divided there or on both sides similarly we are dividing here or on both sides in order to get the phi in the picture so you should remember we have to calculate angle between the radius vector and tangent that is phi so we are not observing in this particular equation phi over there that is why i am dividing r on both sides so that this relationship you already know from the first derivation that is cot of phi cot of phi is equal to 1 upon r dr upon d theta right so now i can write down here this is your cot of phi okay minus a sine of theta divided by r r is already given in the question that is a into 1 plus cos of theta so a into 1 plus cos of theta so a and a will get cancelled out we are left with uh, this sine of theta minus sine of theta 1 plus cos of theta so, so you know already from the previous problem itself that is sine theta we have sine of theta is equal to twice sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 this is, this is the formula trigonometric formula which you have to remember so uh, sin, instead of sine theta i can write down minus times 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 right divided by 1 plus cos theta so in the previous problem we were having 1 minus cos of theta there was a formula 1 minus cos of theta which is equal to twice sine square theta so it was in the previous problem but today we have here 1 plus cos of theta so it is always equal to you can write down here 1 plus cos of theta is equal to twice cos square theta by 2 so this is the formula for 1 plus cos of theta so now i can write down here uh, instead of 1 plus cos of theta i can write down twice cos square theta by 2 right now cot of phi is equal to this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out cos theta by 2 and 1 cos theta by 2 from this term uh, will get cancelled now we are left with sine theta by 2 and cos theta by 2 so minus sine by cos sine by cos is nothing but tan so this is your tan of theta by 2 up to this i hope it is clear now i can write down here cot of phi is equal to instead of tan theta by 2 i can write down here tan of phi by 2 plus theta by 2 so now this is the point which you should understand over here i can write down tan of this is pi by 2 is nothing but 90 so pi value is 180 divided by 2 that is your 90 degree tan 90 plus theta is always equal to minus times tan theta by 2 now you will say how your question will be how it is equal to this 
so actually this is the detailed topic there is a need of one lecture for this particular topic but in brief i will tell you uh, how it exactly is right so here we have 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree and 360 right so this is here minus tan theta by 2 i am writing it as tan theta sorry tan 90 plus theta by 2 so you should remember one thing add sugar to coffee you have already remembered this from previous classes that is from 11th and 12th so you have already remembered this or you have heard this particular term that is add sugar to coffee add sugar to coffee means here in the first quadrant all the trigonometric terms are the positive right next we have in the second quadrant only sign is positive so in this particular case so in the second quadrant we have all the trigonometric identities as negative except this sign sign is positive in the second quadrant but only sign is positive rest of the trigonometric terms are negative that is uh, we have here cos tan these will be negative only sign will be positive in this case now now look at here what i have written that is tan 90 plus theta is always equal to minus tan theta by 2 how so see, see here here we have 90 degree angle if we just add 90 plus theta so here we have 90 degree right if we are moving towards 90 plus theta we are adding we are adding some angle to this 90 then it becomes 90 plus theta so in the second quadrant what is the tan value that is negative so i can write down tan 90 plus theta is always equal to minus times tan of theta just because tan is negative in the second quadrant so instead of minus tan theta by 2 i am writing tan 90 plus theta by 2 i hope you have understood this right so let us move forward so cot of phi is equal to and also we can write down here instead of this tan of 90 plus theta by 2 we can write down also cot of theta sorry cot of 90 plus theta theta by 2 just because tan uh, the opposite of tan is cot so these two things are same over here that is instead of tan of 90 plus theta by 2 we are writing cot of pi by 2 that is cot of 90 plus theta by 2 so here cot and cot will get cancelled out we are left with phi is equal to pi by 2 plus theta upon 2 so this is your value of phi so angle between the radius vector and tangent it is phi is equal to pi by 2 plus theta by 2 but now another question is also find the angle phi at theta is equal to pi by 6 so we have to simply put this theta value in this particular equation so phi is equal to pi upon 2 plus instead of theta we have pi by 6 divided by 2 so you can write down here phi is equal to pi upon 2 plus this is your pi by 6 this 2 will get uh, reciprocal if you just reciprocal it you will get 1 by 2 so pi is equal to pi by 2 plus pi by 12 6 into 2 is 12 so in order to take the lcm i hope uh, you know already how to take the lcm simply multiply this term by 6 and multiply this term by 6 so equation will not be affected 6 and 6 will get cancelled out in order to take the denominator same that is i am taking lcm so 6 into 2 is 12 so denominator we are getting same so phi is equal to 12 and here we have 6 pi plus pi so phi is equal to ultimately 6 pi plus pi divided by 12 is equal to 7 pi upon 12 so this is the answer for your second question that is find the angle uh, phi at theta is equal to pi by 6 so this much is the procedure i hope uh, it is clear to you people it is very simple one only thing is you should remember here that is minus tan theta i am writing as tan 90 plus theta i have told you that in the first quadrant we have all the trigonometric terms as positive in second quadrant we have all uh, all the terms as negative except this sine theta this is your tan theta uh, is positive in the third quadrant and this is your cos theta is uh, positive in the fourth quadrant rest of the trigonometric terms will be negative okay so this is the separate topic actually but in this problem you should remember this thing how it exactly comes up right so we are adding 90 plus theta that is we are entering into second quadrant that is why tan will be positive in this case sorry tan will be negative so this is all about today's problem i hope you have understood the problem very well so make, so make sure you will share this problem to all your friends and batchmates who are struggling with the mathematics subject thank you